Good morning, everybody. Welcome to today's IP class. And in this morning, you guys are still with me, Tasha Patrick. My name is Tasha Patrick, and I will be your IP teacher in this academic year. First of all, let's review our class rules. There are five class rules that we need to bear in mind and follow strictly. Number one, when I start teaching, when I start speaking, everybody needs to stop talking, no more talking, and you can mute your microphone and start listening very carefully with your full attention. Number two, when I have some games to play with you or whenever I have some questions to ask you, I will let you unmute your microphone so that we can interact with each other. You can play games with, with me and your friends. And uh, number three, do some exercise at the end of the class. Number four, take a photo of your exercise when you are done. And number five, don't forget to upload your exercise to the light album. And all of these are the five basic class rules that we have to follow strictly. Now, our morning's IP class is about to start. Five, four, three, two, go. Everybody, that is the composition of air, the composition of air, nitrogen. Nitrogen takes 78% of the whole composition of the air. It takes the largest component of the air. It is the largest components of the air. And the second one is oxygen. Everybody, let's take a look at this red pie, red pie chart. It is the oxygen, which takes 21% of the whole composition of the air. And the third one, or the least, uh, the smallest part of the composition of air is carbon dioxide or water vapor or other gases, which take just 1% of the whole composition of air. One more time. Number one, the largest air composition is nitrogen. Nitrogen. Yes, nitrogen. How many percent? Say 28%, okay? How many percent of the, the nitrogen is there? It is 78%. There is 78% of nitrogen. Number two, ox, 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 ox. Oxygen. Oxygen, oxygen which takes 21% of the whole composition of the air. Carbon dioxide, water vapor, and other gases. Carbon dioxide, water vapor, and other gases take 1%. It is the smallest part of the composition of air. Air pollution. Everybody, last time we talked about air pollution. Air pollution. Yes. Air pollution is the condition of air with bad smell, smoke, and dust. Air pollution is dangerous to humans and animal health. Everybody, tam -tam -tam. let's take a look at this. What is it, everybody? It is the forest fire. Everybody say forest. Forest fire. Forest fire. Forest fire. 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 Forest fire. fire. Forest fire. Yes, it is the burning of the plants or the bushes in the forest, causing the animals and the plants to die. The animals have no homes. The plants have no home. The trees have no home. They cannot exist safely. The animals run away from the forest fire, but the majority of them have become dead. Next, next, next. We need to help each other stop the forest fire. How? We should extinguish the campfire. We should extinguish the campfire. Let's take a look at this picture. The woman is throwing the, the is pouring the water to the campfire. When you go camping and when you finish your activity, you need to stop the fire. You have to extinguish the campfire by pouring the water down to it and with this way it can help prevent um, the campfire let's look at this picture the forest fire or the wildfire is something tremendous tremendously um disastrous is something bad 
for humans and animals and plants. So we need to stop it. We have to prevent it from happening. With extinguishing the campfire, and here is another cause of the air pollution. It is the burning of fuels, the burning of fuels in vehicles and factories. Let's take a look at this picture, everybody, the cars. There are many cars in this picture and the cars are producing the dangerous gas that's up to the air. And at the same time, let's take a look at this picture on your right hand side. They are the factories. The factories are producing the, the gases. The factories are releasing a lot of dangerous gases up to the air. And all of these gases are harmful and dangerous and not good for humans and nature and animals and plants. So we need to help each other stop or reduce the burning of fuels in vehicles and factories. But how? How could we do this? Let's take a look at this picture. We can help reduce the burning of fuels by sharing the cars. We can share a car. It is called carpool, C-A-R-P-O-O-L. Everybody say carpool. Carpool. Yes. Carpool. Good job. What is carpool? What is carpool? Carpool means to share a car, to share a car. For example, Many people are going to the same destination or the places nearby with just one car, okay? You, air, many people can use one car and travel to the same destination. For example, Indy, good tea. Um, Gravelin, you are going to Manta Christian School, right? And you can go there with just one car. Is that clear? Is that clear? No two cars, no three cars, no four cars, but just one single car with a lot of students there, with the proper number of students inside the car. That is carpool, carpool. Next, next, next. We can reduce or stop the burning of fuels by using the carpool or sharing a car. Everybody, how about this example? This is the example of the bad smell, the bad smell caused by the garbage. This old man is walking past the landfill or uh, the garbage bin with a, a lot of garbage deposit, deposited. You can see that um, he is having some bad smell. So he covered, he covered his nose with his hand in order to prevent the bad smell from getting inside his nose. We need to stop this. We need to stop the bad smell caused by the garbage. And one time we can do this. We can sort the waste, sort the waste. You can see that there are different colors of the garbage bin for particular types of, of garbage. Let's take a look at um, the green garbage bin, everybody, the organic garbage bin is for the food, right? It's for something that can be naturally digested. How about the blue garbage bin? The blue garbage bin is for something that can be recycled, especially the plastic. For example, the plastic bottle of water or the, the plastic objects. How about, how about um, the, the yellow garbage bin, the yellow one? The yellow garbage bin is for the paper. So you need to throw away the paper into this kind of garbage bin. There are a lot of garbage bins with different colors. And I believe that your school in Manta Christian School, there are different types of garbage bin for students to source the waste. We can stop the bad smell caused by the garbage by using different colors of the garbage bin with the proper types of waste. What will happen if you breathe in the polluted air? What will happen if we breathe in the polluted air? Everybody, let's take a look at this picture. This man is standing here with his mask. And at the same time, there are gases 
there are gases released to the air from from the tunnels from somewhere nearby. Air pollution can make us sick and harmful to our health. Children and elderly might experience difficulties in breathing. It can cause diseases su such as lung cancer. Let's take a look at this picture. The more you live in the places or condition with a large amount of dust or air pollution, the more chances you will have to have the lung cancer. The lung cancer is something very serious and dangerous and harmful for your health. So it is not good at all. Hey everybody, and that's it for the lesson from our last time today. We are going to move on to the next topic. It is about formation of wind. Formation of wind, W-I-N-D, wind. What is wind? Everybody, what is wind? Tick tock, tick tock. If you want to feel the wind, you can show, show your hands up in the air and you can, you can move your hands back and forth like this. You can move your hands back and forth like this and you will feel the wind. Wind is the moving air. Wind is the moving air. Air moves when there is a difference of temperature between two places. Air moves from a cooler place to a warmer place. Moving air is known as wind. Tam -tam -tam. Let's take a look at this picture, everybody. You can see that the cold air is moving towards the hot air and the hot air is moving up in the sky. Listen again, listen again. Tam -tam -tam. The cold air, the cold air is moving towards the hot air and the hot air is moving up in the sky. I have some questions for you, which is very easy. Tam -tam -tam. Everybody, what is the answer? What is, what is, what is this place? What is this, this picture? Can you tell me? Oh. Hmm? Oh. What type of weather is it? Oh. But, Cool. Yes, cool or cool. cold weather. The cold or cool weather is moving towards the hot. the hot weather. Yes, very good, Indy. And the hot weather is moving up, 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 up in the sky and disappears. And disappears. Let's take a look at this again. The cold area with high pressure, the cold mass or the cold weather with high pressure is moving towards the hot weather with low pressure. And the hot weather with the low pressure is moving up in the sky. The cold weather is going to replace the hot weather. Wind is caused by the difference of, by the difference of temperature between two places. One, hot air. The hot air will float up higher, higher and higher. Two, cool air will replace the hot air that went up. Number three, this causes the air to move from the cooler place to the warmer place. Again, the hot weather moves up. The hot weather, the hot air moves up and the cold air from time moves in order to replace the hot weather that went up. Everybody, Let's take a look at this process again. The warm weather with low pressure is moving up and the cold air with higher pressure is replacing the warm weather. And that is the origin of the wind. The benefits of the air, everybody, let's talk about the benefits of the air. From time, the air, is good for sailing boat. Everybody say sailing boat. Sailing boat. Good job. Good job. One more time. Sailing boat. Sailing boat. Mm -hmm. Time, time, time. Next. Everybody playing kite. Playing kite. Playing kite. Playing kite. Playing kite. Good job. Next, next, next. Generating. Energy, 
generating energy. For example, the windmills are generating energy from the wind, right? That is the wind energy, the example of the wind energy. Generating energy, generating energy. Next, next, next. Everybody, let's take a look at this picture. The farmer is doing something with the rice. It is called winnowing rice. Everybody say winnowing. One more time, winnowing rice. Winnowing, winnowing rice. Yes, winnowing very rice. good. One more time, winnowing rice. Winnowing, winnowing rice. rice. For example, um, many provinces in Isan regions of Thailand have this kind of activity in which many people are winnowing rice. That is generating energy. And here is the plan C dispersal, the plan C dispersal. You can see that the pollens of the flowers or some parts of the flowers are floated up in the air and move away from its stem because of the force of the wind that move and disperse some parts of the flowers from its trunk. That is the plant seed dispersal, plant seed dispersal. And how about this one, everybody? Drying clothes, drying clothes. When you finish having your clothes washed or when you finish washing your clothes, the next step is to dry your clothes. And with the benefit of the air, with the benefit of the air, the clothes can be dried easily. Now it's time for the harmful effect of wind. H-A-R-M-F-U-L, harmful. Everybody say harmful. Harmful. Harmful is something dangerous and not good. The harmful effect of the wind from time. Oh my goodness. F-L-A-S-H-F-L-O-O-D, flash flood. Flash flood is a sudden mass of water covering the areas of the people living. The flash flood is a large amount of water that suddenly covers the residence of people. And number two, landslide, landslide. L-A-N-D-S-L-I-D-E, landslide, is the flow of the mass of the land from the mountain. And when it happens, it causes a lot of damages. The monsoon winds can cause flash flood and landslides. The flash flood and landslide occur because of the wind or the monsoon. And here is the tree, the tree that is uprooted by the strong wind. Strong wind can uproot trees. U-P-R-O-O-T, uproot. Everybody, look at my mouth, look at my mouth and say, a brute. A brute. A brute means to cause something to fall down. For a example, brute. the wind can uproot the trees. Can uproot the trees. Next, next, next. The wind blows the bad smells to us. The wind can blow the bad smell to, to our nose, right? And here is the example of the houses that have been destroyed by the storms. For example, hurricane or tornadoes can destroy the houses. How to protect yourself from air pollution? How to protect yourself from air pollution? Step one or number one, very easy. Eat healthy food. Eat healthy food. For example, you always take um, milk, vegetables, fruits, and other good food for, for you every day. Two, you can use air masks to keep out dust and pollutant. You can use air masks to keep out dust and pollution whenever you go outside. Drink plenty of water to flush out toxins. You'd better drink a lot of water every day, at least eight hours eight glasses of water every day. Stay indoor as much as possible. If you don't have 
anything important to go outside, don't go outside. You'd better stay in your house, okay? It's going to be something useful and safe for you to stay indoor as much as possible. And also, there are a lot of activities for you to do with your family members inside your home. Now it's time for the games. Let's play games together. Tam 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 tam. Which number do you want to go for? Number. Hello. Two. Number two. two. Everybody, what? Number one, one. Okay, number one. Number one. Can you guys tell me what is this activity? It is the benefit of the air. Ten, 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 ten. Tam, 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 tam. Everybody, it is generating energy. Generating energy. Generating energy. Next, next, next. Which number do you want to go for? Six. Number six. All right, number six. Tam, tam. Can you tell me what? Three, number three. three. Okay, number three. And that's it for the clues. Now it's time for you to tell me the benefit of the air. That is the benefit of the air. And what is it? What is that benefit? Tick tock, tick tock. Tam, tam. Plant seed dispersal. Everybody say plant. Seed dispersal. Plant seed dispersal. Next, next, next. Which number do you want to open? Five. Five. Good job. Tick tock. Do you want to open more? Two. 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 Okay, number two. And what is this benefit of the error? Can you tell me? What benefit of the error is it in this picture? When you finish washing your clothes, when you finish washing your clothes, and then you need to, need to, you need to tick tock, tick tock, five, four, three, two, go. Drying your clothes, drying clothes, drying clothes, okay? Now it's time for your book. Let's open your book to page 39. Open your book, open your book. Everybody, let's open your book to page 39 now. Gritty T, Gritty T, do you have the book? Do you have the book? Gabriel, do you have the book? There's your science book. Good job, good job. Gabriel, come on. Show me your book. Show me your book. Mm -hmm. And um, Pantita, Brittany, Triarat, Bank. Do you have the science book? The book with the green cover. The book with the green cover. Triarat, show me your book. Show me your book. Where is your book? Where is your book? Mm -hmm. Parida, do you have the book? Yes or no? Five, four, three, two, go. Now let's open your book to page 39. Fill the words to the best description in the, in the blank. Drying clothes, car pooling, air pollution, wind, nitrogen, and carbon dioxide. Let's start checking number one. Everybody, number one. What is the largest component of the air? The largest, the biggest component of air is nitrogen. Everybody write it down, nitrogen. Nitrogen, write it down now, write it down now. Number one, finished. Teacher, uh, finished. Okay, good job. Number two, moving air. What is moving air? Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. Come on, come on. Number two, what is moving air? What is moving air? Indy, do you have the answer? 
Moving air. What is moving air? Mm. Win. Good job. W I N D. Win for number two. And next, number three. What is the way to prevent air pollution? What is the way to prevent air pollution? Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. What is the answer for number three? Kuh, 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 kuh. Ka, 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 ka. Carpooling. Yes, carpooling, carpooling. Ka, ka, carpooling. Mm -hmm. Number four, number four. What is the advantage of wind? What is the good point of wind? Tick tock, tick tock. Come on, Tam. Drying clothes, drying clothes. And number five, they can make a six. Which vocabulary is it? They can make a six. The answer is air pollution, air pollution. Everybody write the answers down your book now. Five, four, three, two, one. Finished, finished, finished. Finished. Let me check one by one. Um, great tea, finished. Finished. Okay. Gavalin finished. Hello? Finished. Mm -hmm. Indy finished. Good yes. job. Panita. Yes. Good job. Brittany. Finished. Tyrat finished. Hello. Tyrat finished. No. No. Oh, take your time. Take your time. Panrahida finished. Yeah. Fire rod is not finished. Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Fire rod, hello. Have you finished? Good job, good job. Next, next, next. Part two, instructions. Circle the correct words to complete the sentences. Circle the correct words to complete the sentences. Number one, everybody, let's check number one. Air moves because of the difference of pressure or temperature between two areas. Pressure or temperature. Pressure or temperature. Tick tock, tick. Talk it off. And the answer is, oh my goodness, temperature, temperature. Oh. So sorry. Number two, air moves from a cooler or warmer area to cooler or warmer area. The air moves from a cooler area to a warmer area. Number three, the movement of air across the Earth's surface brings monsoons that can cause Floods or sun rays. Floods or sun rays. Flood. Flood. Yes, good job. Everybody, what is flood? Flood means the water that covers the people's houses, okay? The sudden mass of water covering 
houses of people. Number one, temperature. Now it's time for number four and number five. Number four, number four. So the layer of air around the earth is called oxygen or atmosphere. The layer of the air around the earth is called oxygen or atmosphere. Oxygen. Sure, are you sure? The air around the earth, the air around, around the earth. I will show you the example. The air around the earth, around the earth, around the earth. Oxygen or atmosphere? Tam, 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 tam. Tam, tam, tam. Atmosphere. Circle atmosphere. Circle the atmosphere. And number five, the strong wind can uproot or grow trees. For example, the tornado, the hurricane can uproot or grow the trees. What is the answer? Up, uproot, uproot, or grow. Uproot, uproot. Uproot. Five, four, three, two, go. Uproot. Very good, great tea. Number one, two, three, four, five. Have you finished? Finished. Good job, good job. Tayarat finished, Tayarat. My goodness, Gavolin finished? Finished. Mm -hmm. Next, everybody, let's open your book to page 40. Let's open your book to page 40. Page 40, everybody. Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. And start checking. And let's start checking. Page 40. Five, four, three, two, go. Page 40. Number one. Tum -tum. What is the layer of air around our Earth called? A, atmosphere, B, oxygen, C, gas. Tick tock, tick tock. A, B, or C? A. Great T, A, B, or C? Gavolin, what is your answer, A, B, or C? Mm -hmm. Um, Brittany, Patrahida, Banhita, what is the answer? A, B, or C? A. Tam, taram, tam, 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 tam. A. Good job, good job. The atmosphere is the layer of air around our Earth. Next, number two. Which gas is the largest component of air? Which gas is the biggest component of air? A. Oxygen, B, carbon dioxide, C, nitrogen. Very easy. Which gas is the biggest, number one gas, the biggest or the largest component of air? Oxygen, C, carbon dioxide, nitrogen. C, sure. 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 I'm sure. Yes, I'm sure. Tam, 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 tam. C, good job indeed, nitrogen. Nitrogen. And uh, number three, number three, which gas do the living things need to breathe in? Which gas do the living things need to breathe in? Breathe in. A, nitrogen, yes or no? B, carbon dioxide or C, oxygen? Oxygen. Mm -hmm. C. Tam, 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 tam. Oxygen, very good. Number four, number four, plants need blah, blah, and sunlight to make food, to make food. A, nitrogen. B, carbon dioxide. C, oxygen. Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. B. Are you sure, Indy? Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. I'm sure, I'm sure, yes, I'm sure. 
Credit C, Gavalin. Hello, what is answer? A, B, or C? Uh, B. Mm -hmm. How about you, Gavalin? What is your answer? What is your answer? What is your answer? Five, four, three, two, go. B boy, carbon, carbon dioxide. That's amazing. That's amazing. Let's move on to number five. Which one can cause air pollution? Which one can cause air pollution? A, burning of fuels in vehicles and factories. B, carpooling. C, growing more trees. Which one is the cause of air pollution? Which one is not good? Not good. A, B, or C? A. Sure? I'm sure. Time, 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 time. A. Burning of fuels in vehicles and factories can cause air pollution. And number six, number six. Number six. What is not the activity that prevents air pollution? What is not the activity that prevents air pollution? A. Classifying garbage. B. Growing more trees. C. Deforestation. Ah. What is the answer? Classify, classifying garbage into the different colors of garbage or B, growing more trees or C, deforestation. It means to cut the trees, cut the trees. A, B, or C? C. Come on, time. C, that's perfect, Indy, that's perfect. And number seven, number seven. The moving air is known as a, air pollution, B, wind, or C, atmosphere? B. Is it easy? Yes. Good easy. job. The answer is B, the wind is the moving air. Moving air is known as wind. Finished? Have you finished? No, number eight. Mm -hmm. Number eight, number eight. Which one is the harmful effect of the wind? Which one is the harmful effect of the wind? A, strong wind can destroy the houses. B, wind can generate energy. C, wind makes clothes dry. A, B, or C? Tick tock, tick tock. Five, four, three, two, one. Come on, Indy, what is your answer? Tam, 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 tam. Kriti Gavalin, hello, what is your answer? Um, B. Mm -hmm. A. Mm -hmm. Gavalin, hello. A. Tam, 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 tam. Let me check. Bonita, Patrita, Brittany, what is your answer? A, B, or C? A. A. Five, four, three. A. Two, go. A, that's perfect, that's perfect. The strong wind, for example, the tornado or the hurricane can destroy the houses. Finished, finished, have you finished? Finished. Yeah. Good job. If you're happy and you finish this, clap your hands. Next, it's time to check the students' names. Tam-tam-tam. I will call your names and you have to reply by saying yes. You have to answer by saying yes. Chanamon. Hello, Chanamon. Listen carefully, listen carefully. Right. Yes. Punya Pat. Gavalin. Yes. Pantita. Yes. Songkran. Ashwin. Patarahida. Yes. Natawadi. 
สุพนัท yes พักกระพง hello พักกระพงวริศราวริศรากรติที yes good job And the time has come already. I hope that you guys enjoy learning with me this morning. Bye bye and have a nice day. See you again. Bye bye. See you again. Bye bye. Good afternoon. Okay.